Hello everyone, uh, welcome again. Today we are going to continue to work on Rampy website and in our case, uh, so about the end at Upris is more or less working drag and drop without glitches. Uh, this is expected, yeah. Uh, I ended up actually ditching all the extra fun functionality. It turned out it, it is almost impossible to um, to seamlessly change one image to another, especially when using React. So last time what I was doing, so when you drop an image, right, and in it renders, but then gets switched to a server rendered image and I used uh, image object to preload it. So ideally, if I would be able to place that image object directly into the DOM, it might be all right. But in React, you cannot do this. You just can create another image with the same source, right? And hope that uh, Chrome would reuse some cache or something like that. Uh, Chrome didn't, so it ended up blinking. And I didn't want blinking, so and but they are usually the images are not that different, and so it was creating too many complications for too little gain. So I decided that uh, I'm happy without it. I'm not happy without smooth experience, but now experience is pretty smooth. So I drop the image, and yeah, <laughs> when it works, uh, when it works. It's a simulated exception, but yeah. when it works, it's smooth, nothing blinks, nothing uh, jumps uh, or so, so um, nothing like that. So it, it was tricky. There is actually a state of measurement that happens before uploading and yeah, I probably should reflect that. It's uh, in there. It doesn't, um, it's not in any sense an actual state, so there is nothing changed in um, post, post state. But it actually exists, right? So it, it can fail. And if it fails, it just go back. If it is okay, it goes to uploading. So if uh, I, I don't know how to draw like you, there are m multiple states where you can go uh, into this from no media, you can go to this from failed, you can go to this from displaying, right? And I'm not sure how to show that on fail you go back, but the idea is you go back on fail. Okay, so it, this is the case if uh, the image can be measured. And the tricky part was that I had to actually, when measuring is happening, I have to keep uh, exact state as it was before, so that I only start drawing this uh, once I have the dimensions. Otherwise, there was another jump, like you drop an image and you immediately repaint the page with zero size image and then browser figures out what dimensions are and renders it again. So it was a terrible experience. Uh, right now, so I ended up doing it like, like this. There is two measuring, right? And I just create an image object in the memory. I add on load, on error, uh, on if I get the dimension I move to to uploading state, right? If I don't, I just remove, um, I add failed message. So basically this will be if I drop a file here in some project format. Okay, so this is was not nice. So because of this, uh, I also had to interfere with my drag and drop. So basically once you drag something in there, right? And you drop it, you don't want to get away from this UI because you don't know what you should be rendering after that. So you have to hold on to current state of the page and uh, figuring out the size of the image and only after you figure it out, you move on. So I had to add one more. There is media dropped, which 
means was image dropped or not. So it might be dropped here, but not dropped here. And uh, my drag and drop handlers are actually, yeah, now, now they don't cancel dro dropping if uh, dropped happens. So this is like you put all the your UI into nice little abstractions like um, accompanied per per state and so isolate a drag and drop into a single component and give it its own state and stuff like that. It's all nice and dandy, but then you face reality and in that reality you cannot do that uh, because, yeah, because it wouldn't work as nice. It would work, but it wouldn't work as nice as you want it to. Um, so yeah, the other thing that I have to had to sacrifice was a component per state. So before uh, there was, if you remember, if I was like in, uh, for example, uploading state, there was like render upload state. And if I was in displaying, there was render displaying, right? Instead, right now I have um, single components that renders everything, uh, including no media. Yeah. And yeah, so, and there's always an image and the single component component that renders image for any of the states. So in any of those states, if there is an image, it will be rendered by this component. And so, so now again, there is no separation of concerns. It has to know about every state out there. Uh, it basically does some ifs inside, depending on what you are showing. Uh, you render this or that and that. Uh, and this is not nice. Um, but I had to do this because, again, in Chrome, uh, no, no, it's, it's maybe not a Chrome problem or I don't know which problem is that. So suppose you're rendering this, right? And this is without an error, right? So it's normal image. So this would be like displaying state, right? Then you drop something, let me just... <laughs> Uh, let me show something else. So this normal image, right? And this is our displaying state, right? Then you drop something like a spreadsheet in there. And now you go into error state, right? So fail state and it's there. Uh, if you make displaying and fail two different components, like our top level components, even though inside they would render identical markup, React would throw it away because the, the root component is different. So if it's different class, React just doesn't try anything, it replaces it. And this is needed for correctness and stuff like that, but it also uh, was not nice because of that. Uh, so basically React has to remove DOM images from inside this component and add them again uh, as a new images, right? New nodes, right? And because of that, there was another uh, level of blinking uh, that was showing up in Chrome. Firefox did great. So Firefox, I don't know why, but it didn't show blinking, but Chrome did. Um, and I didn't like that as well. So again, yeah, I had to face reality. Uh, but this compressed really nice, really, so I'm not that worried. So most of the states are actually are pretty similar, so it's okay. Um, I also ended up with single failed state, uh, relatively the same as it when, when it was as it, I started, when I started, it was when I started. Um, yeah, it turned out, so if you are uh, so fail state, you can get there two ways, right? If you were uploading something, but failed, or if you're deleting something and it failed, right? Um, in both states, actually, <laughs> the, the way out is really simple. You just ha have to delete again. So uh, yeah, it's the same state. Before, it was two different states because when I was loading something, let me trigger an error. Yeah, so this upload failed, right? I wanted to draw here, like try again, um, link, right? And that link would be incorrect if I would like to, if I fail delete instead of upload, right? Um, 
so yeah i just stated that it's not that big of a deal to having this link and if your upload failed maybe you just try it again so you drop the image again uh, probably most of the time it wouldn't fail so it's nice uh, it's not a problem at all so that's, that's, that's a secret another simplification right and now we have like pretty basic state of uh, states just about as you would expect from the task right when if if i would describe the task to you in like uh, informal conversation uh, so i would say there is an image right you can drop an image and you can as you upload you could delete an image right so you would expect there is like uh, two main states like no no image and some image uh, two transitional states one is when you uploading and one is when you're deleting right so that's about what i get and there's also failure state so yeah uh, there's that uh, so now finally i am more or less happy about um about the complexity of all the whole thing right so i think the complexity matches the problem so complexity of the code and complexity of the states uh matches uh, the problem right so before when i was like drawing um, to show you the the latest one of the latest schemes sorry i was one of the latest it was like way too much right so way too complex uh for a simple task and even though it can be made work and you just you just end up with way too much code for such simple problem it would be nicer it would work better and it would do slightly more but it doesn't match as the problem complexity right i don't want something way too complicated for a simple task so yeah so uh there's yeah that what is left for us to do here uh so this one this one was more or less done let me go to editor actually and there must be something like yeah this this also must be failing at some point mm, yeah. i have to reset so now body editing will be slow and it also might result in an error Okay, resulting in an error. Come on. Maybe I don't see it because it will go from saving to saving. I don't know. Yeah, so there is exception, there is exception, there is, yeah. Okay. So this was, uh, this was really, really bad what just happened. This is not okay. What just happened? We just lost the whole post for okay okay so this is unexpected yeah let me go and so we say 500 okay let's see so i didn't like that at all this this shouldn't happen um, under no circumstances so failed 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 so we set to fail for every hmm. and was it caused by the fact that i saved something in there no it might be caused by reloading the code actually yes so now it doesn't disappear okay uh, so my hypothesis would be that it was caused by the fact that i was reloading the code during the the application code i hope i hope i i am really worried but yeah it shouldn't be happening okay let's go
there is always single component right and always renders text area and Okay, maybe better idea would be to use default value, which means uncontrolled component. And it's not as nice while I uh, for debugging. Debugging wouldn't work in uncontrolled component. But yeah, let's save it for later, right? But maybe uh, if we use uncontrolled component, we are guaranteed that React wouldn't try to mess up with our state. It wouldn't try to override what, what's in there, right? And that means as we type, our data is safe. Um, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get to some this is way too much but let's say 0 0.5 500 it seems okay reset okay let's see maybe now do something no? no it seems okay okay so it seems okay um what we have to do is uh, actually implement the post button delete draft oops <laughs> delete draft seems to be already implemented okay we have to implement post button but uh, to do that we actually have a few well few a few what i don't know mm. so yeah the buttons are not as simple as well right so the delete draft sh should work always post should only work as long as you have image somehow uh, so it shouldn't work if there was an error right so if you didn't clear an error let me trigger that error let me trigger that error come on this should be one time out of three yeah so in this case this button should be disabled right so you cannot post as long as you have something not working in, in there um post body can it be empty probably um so uh an author and content creator says it might be at least well we can definitely we should definitely allow posts without image okay and we should should be allowed post with single image but without a comment right so it would look not as nice because then there is a nickname nickname expects some content in there right but some images just speak for itself i know um yeah so maybe as a precaution precautionary measure we might okay so let's say there is no error here there is some text in there this status doesn't really matter because we will be sending it again right um when we're posting right so whether it's auto saved or not it doesn't really bother us picture status should be either uploaded to displaying right or no media right it can be like measuring or failed or anything else okay um so i guess we have to draw to draw disabled state for this button let's see 
is there yeah there is grayscale filter grayscale okay let's see if it works maybe we just can Apparently, apparently it works. <laughs> I wonder if it works in other. And on grayscale, yeah, it shouldn't be doing this, of course. Um, yeah, so we have to do disabled state for a button. Okay, so this is again when our debug comes in handy. Um, we go in there, there is post, post, post in there, post, post, oh yeah, um, yeah, so let's say we post, 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 disabled, or just disabled. Yeah. So, what do we have? Filter, grayscale. Okay. Then we go to buttons. And here, button new, or it's actually button post. because in CSS it's called post actually. So yeah, it depends on, oh no, no, no. Yeah, it's button new because it's two buttons, right? So in here we, we say class and then we say when, um, uh -huh. We say something like, it's not, it's, it's just a function, of course. And we, we send post in there. I also doing some reactive stuff. So run react, yeah, reactive. So in here, we are going to do like, what are we going to do? Okay, so it has to be and fragment subscribe post media status. So media status has to be new, right? Because yeah, if you go in there, there are what there's uploading, deleting, failed, all of those are in flight and the nil is displaying or not displaying. Okay, so it has to be nil. Okay, and body status has to be body edited. Okay, so we have <coughs> Okay, so this is already fine, right? So it, has, it doesn't have to be one of these. It's either body edited or post body. We don't really care. Um, it has to be not empty. Oh, sorry, it's uh, blank. It cannot be blank. Not string blank. Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. So 
So it's it's actually not disabled. It's actually disabled and is not ready posted. It's like this. Alright, so if it's ready, it's disabled attribute and we actually has do it like this. Okay, let's see. It's disabled. Now you start doing something. Now it's disabled. Now it's doing something. Now it's disabled. Cool. Uh, the only thing left is now we have somehow to unblock. We also have to do update for button, but it's okay. Uh, now we have to somehow cancel all the effects. Um, yeah, let's see. It says selector not. Okay, let's see if it is. Can I do that? Like not and then disabled? Huh. Okay, let's see. Um, not. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, it seems not. Maybe I should also remove the bottom border for disabled. Let's see where it is. Yeah, this one. Post post not disabled. So in disabled state we have no border. I wonder why. Oh yeah. No, this is not what I wanted. So, okay, so my idea would be maybe that in not disabled, Okay, so the idea is we don't need hide here. Like this, okay? So mm, <laughs> didn't seem to work. Um yeah, so it, I guess it has to be white, right? Yeah, so button rises. Okay, so this is the effect that I was going for. Button rises. Okay, cool. Um, it's not. The same effect, yeah. So this is better because now the, they can put any background actually. Okay, let's see if it works in oops, Chrome as well because this is like um, not not your traditional CSS selection. Oh, it seems to work. Okay, okay, cool. Um, Safari. Yeah, seems to look okay. Uh, okay, so this is we go back to Firefox. Oops. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? So we also need maybe to draw disabled state for this. I'm not sure how 
Windows 95 disabled buttons should look like. It was gray text with, yeah, it's probably like this. Uh, why is video not image? I think it's like offset text or something like that. Try another, but I need to find an exact screenshot so I can copy it, you know. There was some good ones on YouTube, so maybe I should go there on this. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> what this is. Okay, okay, so... Oh. No, 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 no. Let's go back. This seems kind of what I need, but on different backgrounds. It doesn't work. Okay, let's go to videos. There was good ones in there. So this one is okay. Let's show watch here. I hope at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. That I, so I need this one. So basically, you just set a text with text shadow, right? You make a gray text with text shadow, okay? Yeah, okay, so this one is okay. Uh, same in here. We just add disabled attribute in there. We also need to make it reactive. Um, go here. I probably was complaining about being not reactive. Yeah, this is a third. I used to not have it. Some some contributor suggested, but now I find it very, very good. So now I suppose this button is kind of disabled. Yes, yeah, it's disabled. Okay, cool. Uh, we only need to implement that. Okay, so the button is just dot btn, and btn is here. Again, so we have all this. It's, it can still can it save. What's going on? Oh no! It tries to save, but for some reason there is another type of exception. This simulated exception is okay. So this one. File not found. We don't have draft for it. Okay, yeah, because we we're editing some pause that's not yeah, because we're not in the wrong place. So we should be editing something like this. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so this update must be disabled for us. And let's go and make sure that happens. Disabled. Um so we say color is what? Color is slightly darker shade of gray. Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. And we have the shadow one pixel, one pixel, zero, and then FFF. Yeah. Wow, that does look like a uh, properly disabled button from uh, Windows 95. I would also maybe, okay, so it's still pressing, so this we have to disable that. Uh, to do it, we have to go write this. Yes. Yeah, so now it's not clickable. Uh, I would maybe want to remove border as well. I think this is redundant. Yes and no. So probably should be FFF instead. Okay, so now it looks kind of like disabled button without this black border. Or was it okay? The black border makes it look like it still can do something. 
Okay, no, I'm I'm pretty happy. So if I understand it correctly as well, on disable buttons clicks don't work, which is exactly what we want. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's next? Apparently I have something like tree removal going on. Um, I hope it's not too loud. So next, 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 next thing we need. And so we have to implement like um yeah shit this is too loud okay i will go grab some water Okay, ne next thing that we need to do is actually implement like sending the request, right? So there are two ways to do that. One is to do an AJAX request, like uh, send it and then process the response. The other one is to do like real HTTP form submit and stuff like that. Um, The second one is simpler because browser handles everything for you. Like if if there is an error, um, yeah, you don't have to do anything. Uh, well, you well you cannot do any, you cannot do much. So browser handles this for you. It probably shows you a page like uh, form submission failed, and you can click refresh, and then. It will ask if you want to resubmit your form and then you will like okay yeah resubmit uh or maybe not right which is not ideal user experience but simpler from implementation standpoint and maybe simpler in the sense that you will have to deal with less things in your uh, code right because it's not your problem anymore handling this state transition is not your problem uh, the other approach would be to do uh, as we do with any other request here and actually like send a request, show like progress bar or something, wait for it to finish, and then yeah. I'm thinking that on old Grumpy website, I'm not sure how to how to test that without posting a new post. I probably can't so i wouldn't test it but i think we're doing jax response so you have to like the problem is you have to draw a progress in there you have to disable this button right you have to disable text area you have to disable image dragging and stuff like that but 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 the the upside of this is 
that it will be done in the manner that everything else is done in, in, in our system, right? So we are pretty familiar with what we're doing. Like it will work the same as everything else in this system, right? And this is, I think, a good thing, right? Yeah, because, because, because like, you, will, you, in, you won't have to figure out how it will interact with that because everything else is already written in this fashion. So it's just another piece and it will like work the same. Maybe from understandability standpoint, it will be similar. The problem though is that we have now have to also introduce a state for our post, right? So there is uh, ID body picture, there is body edited, blah, 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 media. And then there is, I guess, post status and there are two actually uh there's new and there is post post starting posting right so this is your status and there is probably fail message yeah fail that so I used failed message, but maybe I should use fail message. So yeah, this is a string. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm not sure. Editor body back media. Yeah. I can actually rename it to error. It's failed message, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, let's rename it to error. I'm um, well. What if I want to store actual error in there? I will deal with that later. Okay, and. Um, now I have to deal with yeah okay so there's post error in case it didn't happen and there is post status posting in case it is in the process of posting so we need to introduce another state uh, to be posting it will have let's say do we need id no we need somebody right oh wait 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 i just realized that i did wrong thing here there's no post body there's all just body and this is do i use this no i don't yeah okay so this one place uh and body posting this Okay, so this is, oops, wait, uh -huh. yeah, so there is a posting state and there is posting failed and it is gonna have um, post error in itself. Yeah. And that error would be yeah, something like that. Okay, so there are two new states that we have to deal with. We go to debug. We do not visualize them. Body is not seekable. Okay, so what's happening? Body is not seekable. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, because I, I need to subscribe instead of subscribing. Okay, so we go to posting and it's supposed to show some spinner. 
and then we supposed to see some error in there. Okay. So let's start with posting. The posting is gonna show our oh, spinner. There is um hmm. Let me figure it out. So I think there is some JavaScript in there. And in there somewhere is Yeah, logger, I guess this is this one. Okay, on scroll and um, it must create some diff with spinner. I'm just trying to figure out what what class would it have. I don't remember. I don't listen. I guess it's logger, right? Okay, let's go to there is some loader in there. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's just see what happens if. If you just put a law uh, there in there, let's start with this. Yeah, it probably it's hidden by default or something like that. Let me see. I suppose it is hidden by default, and it has to be logger body. Yes. No. Maybe. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's why. Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was it? I guess. This must be a reducible function. Right. And buttons, buttons as well.
Okay, so the trick here would be to to make it the same height as original button, right? We know that the height of the button is we know the height of the button. <laughs> okay, um, seventy six and pause. Okay, so Okay, so it's just a pixel small. But actually, if we change it to 76, why is it always showing? Something is wrong here. Um, Yeah, something is wrong. So is this condition should almost never happen? But instead we always see a lawyer. Okay, that's let's see why it is happening. New. Oh yeah, 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 there should be not equals. Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's say we are in the frame. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, post status posting, post status. Okay, and we go to debug. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Of course. Got this. No. This loader like takes way too much, right? I oh yeah, and I wanted to see if button is alright. No, button is not alright. Okay, so uh, let's say we re reuse the same image, but we keep this. Maybe in fragments we don't need the loader that much. Okay, uh, we go to web. Maybe we put it back. Uh, we can as well like do do it here. You know that picture is seventy. Six by seventy-six. We we don't know exact size of the button. It is actually depends on the font, but we can know approximate size, right? In our case, it's two 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 two. Okay, so maybe post post. No, it's not post 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 posting. I don't remember. What was my motivation for post slash post? But I guess one post is that we are about the post and the other post is we are like post posting the post. It's contrast of delete, update stuff like that yeah but um okay so let's say we have a rectangle slightly the same yeah and we have it for example here no fragments but post posting okay we also call it do we have something like flex roll? I can call it roll and then call it center. And in here we will have image and the image would be the same as 
this. So essentially, uh -huh. yes and no. Yeah, but this image inside, wait, what? So we're going to go with row middle. And we're gonna actually put the logger in there. Okay. Yeah, okay, so now it is kind of happening but it seems to have some margin around it, yes? So disable the margin. Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me remove this and we actually go in there. That's why um, the reusable components should not have any margins by default. Right? The margins belong to a container where you place it, not to, um, not to the component. Okay, so now let's figure out how much space, because this is 78. And I can see that it's slightly, what's the fuck, there's border. Oh yeah, of course there's border. Um, okay. There's div, there is no margin, there is text one. Yeah, so why does it stick two pixels above? Oh wait, oh no. Yeah, this is not, not a problem. Display flex probably not our problem. Huh. So the loader actually have Yes, so, okay, okay, okay. Load your image, this must be set to this. Then we will have it. Yes, and we will have our proper. Okay, so now this transition is seamless. We don't have any like jumps, right? So this is good. It should be rotating. It should be rotating. Loader, loader, loading. Yes. So now it rotates. This one should be disabled. Actually. This one should be disabled and this one should be disabled. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Now we also have to show an error somehow, right? How do you show an error? I, I suppose we use something like, not this, not this, something like this, I like it actually, but we put it in there. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm. There are buttons, 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 buttons. So let's say we make it a column, right? So it's a column. Yeah. And then when some, well, hmm.
Yeah, no, uh, this is okay. Okay, so this one can be replaced. Fragment, subscribe. This went, okay, so what I'm trying to do is find an error. Fragment, subscribe, post, post, error. If there is an error of any kind, we want to display it. Yes. So why I was hesitating a little bit is because if error disappears, this thing disappears and then what buttons you will have to re-enter. So it's not optimal from, I don't know, React standpoint, but it should work. Okay, so now we see that something is not right in the air, right? So there is a column, there is this, and there is that. So something is not, not right. Oh, I know, because the status uses position absolute, which is actually okay on itself. Hmm. Maybe I have to add something like left position absolute left zero, like stick. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do is um, have this micro CSS framework. Um, so the idea is if I go to media and five status, so I'm just here and then from the status itself I remove this. So status becomes like normal component reusable right and then when you position it you just add extra things and you have it like this. Yeah. Seems seems okay actually. I suppose there won't be many errors about this, but should I actually change that index to something or not? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, but this is not really that important, but yeah. Let's say this. Okay, so posting, we put posting failed. Okay, yeah. Um, if posting failed, we can try again, of course. We can. Oops, I don't know what I just deleted. Uh, yeah, but this is actually, yeah, a little bit not perfect because our debug that which is supposed to be like non interactive thing that just shows you different states of your UI. It actually actually reacts to all the buttons, right? Okay, so now to actual posting, right? So now we have to watch has it has been an hour, right? Okay, so now to actual posting. So we click post 
and should go into spinning sync and should actually send a fetch request oh no 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 wait 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 i i forgot that i have to disable like editing and all this stuff okay so no it's boring uh yeah we'll add it later so for now let's let's do actual posting so i, I want to actually experience that you click a button and actually post something right okay so oops yeah this is this one don't need uh so it would be on click handler here on click uh, to posting post deleting state uh. okay so this one we'll have to need to fix as well so there's a drugs request blah 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 um yeah this one is is okay is uh, it's fixable uh -huh. I just realized maybe I'm called post logger. This way, yeah, uh, this way we can reuse it later for different so other buttons like this. But actually, yeah, we have something like this. Uh, we need to do something like exactly like this, All right? So the, it's gonna be to posting. Uh, the post we have to check consult with editor CLJ and see this one we probably don't need this two we might need this we don't need probably okay so so far we have been using this and this there is safe well so safe we are not using actually this has to go i'm not sure by the way What's the different difference? There's safe post and there's safe post and publish. Okay, so there is some publish thing. I'm not sure what it does. Um, but Let's go to publish. Yeah, okay, so publish is complicated thing. It also calls to save post. I got slot merge. I'm not sure if save post is. Yeah, we use something different. Okay, okay, so the idea is that publish. Publish. Okay, publish. Maybe, maybe we actually like the name publish because it is so it suggests that. It works for both new post and uh, old post, right? And it's different from the word post because posting is something not okay. It's called publish. And then publishing, yes. Mm. Yeah, we need. Publishing this and then we have post publish. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so now we go to 
Okay, let's 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 again. So there is post slash post ID slash publish. So first of all, it has to be draft, not post, right? So we publish drafts, then publish posts. Uh, and this gives us a good opportunity to actually renovate. Okay, so we go in there, we read. So there is save post somehow. So publish just takes a draft and publishes it. But when we send this request to publish, we also send our body. And even maybe image. No, image should be already on a server. We shouldn't be sending image. Yeah, but body might not be yet saved. So what we have to do is we have to update body like this. Right? So, um, hmm. I also switch to request body is just body. There is no structure, there's no transit wrapping it or anything else. So in that case, we say, does it seems, okay, let's just do the things, things the same way, right? So it's exactly as it was before. There's publish and then we send the, the the post that we saved back and we actually have to do that because we need the id the id might change okay what we need here is we need somehow to wrap this uh, remember there is a thing with uh, wrapping in a job or something like that yeah job linearize this uh by post id okay Hmm. So I suppose it goes somewhere in there. Like this. Okay. Ah, no, 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 sorry. Like this. I don't remember. So linearize the body can be anything. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we do two things uh, based on post ID. We update draft with new body, and then we publish the post, right? And then we return it. From now on, it has different ID, but I hope, I hope that publish will work as is. It's a, it should, right? Maybe we will take a, a look on it later. Maybe, I don't know, move picture. We don't do like any image compression or something like that. No. Post even. Clean up. Yeah, so there is some drop to post something. The day telegram. Yeah, maybe anyways. Um, yeah, it seems to it should hold up. Okay, so let's go back here. So now um, we actually have to provide a body, and body would be or body updated post or just body post. 
Okay. Yeah, so there is a body, there is success, and success actually payload. Let's see if we do parsing somewhere. No, this is just a restaurant. Let's see here. Yeah, so here we don't use it, but here we use it. Okay, so this is our payload and let post be this. And we have to redirect actually to post slash ID post. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So if everything is good, we just redirect. If everything is not good, like this. Okay, I seem to have some meetings scheduled. Okay, I might be going to a meeting in five minutes. Yeah, why not? Uh, so we have to finish this up quickly, but this is not something too hard. So there's going to be a message. And what we need to do is swap star post this sog post status so this is gonna be error okay so but only we need uh, it has to be published here yes yeah so Publish, just publish. Yeah, this one is okay. This the rest is not probably useful. We will have to recheck this. Um, let's see if it works, and maybe we will end up our stream on that for now. I really hope it works, right? But the idea is yeah, we don't need debug that now in theory we should be supposed to not found. Okay because it didn't return the ID because it returned an exception wait what? okay the simulated exceptions are like kind of Kind of annoying. Update body, why it's update body throw an exception? Okay, let's disable this for now. Still not found, what's the fuck? Are we even? Yeah, so we are posting, but we're not getting a response. Um, because I'm wrapping this in a post and we don't expect that. Okay. That's our problem, right? Right, so let's see. Yeah, but we don't get body now. Um, this is, do we have get pictures at least? Uh, I should probably okay okay so every simulated exception <laughs> no matter how good they and useful they are 
let's see where we get exceptions here real good real good real good we just trying to get a happy pass okay let's upload something what okay so now something else has happened okay yeah we got it published yes uh, dino okay so now i want to type something really fast and and before auto save kicks in try try to post it yeah and i don't get any anybody at all hmm Is it body updated? Oh, it's body edited, right? Yeah, of course it's edited. Okay, okay, so that's our problem. Let's try again. It time something really fast? Yeah, cool. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Ah, we haven't implemented this. But yeah, it seems to work. So, so yeah, let's save it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and we will continue in the next episode. Bye-bye.